In this how-to video, we are going to show you how to break down and clean an over-under shotgun. First and foremost, make sure the weapon is unloaded before attempting to clean it. Now we'll remove the forearm by pulling the forearm latch lever up and pulling the whole unit away from the rest of the gun. Now use the top lever to break open the gun, separate the two pieces and set aside. Go ahead and pull out all of your gun cleaning supplies. Here's what you're going to want. A bore cleaning kit specific to your firearm's gauge, a rugged cleaning cloth, and avoid paper towels as they are easy to tear and are more trouble than they're worth. Some CLP to clean, lubricate, and protect your firearm. A little bit of firearm grease to lubricate the choke tubes. A brush and pick set for scrubbing and cleaning as well as scraping nasty grit out of the corners and hard to reach areas. Some long stemmed cotton swabs. And finally, a parts tray to corral all the small parts and for soaking those parts in CLP. Other handy tools you may potentially need is a small screwdriver and a choke tube wrench. To begin with, we're going to pull the extractors out. You only need to do this a few times a year, depending on how much you shoot, but we'll show you how to do it here. Now there's a caveat. Over-unders vary on how their extractors are removed. In this example, we're using a Browning Satori. For this model, it has a little screw on each side that needs to come out first before you can slide out the extractors. Use a small flathead to unscrew it. Place it in your tray. You can now slide out the extractor and place it into your tray as well. We are dealing with a double barrel shotgun, so everything you end up doing to one barrel, you're going to want to do to the other. Place these in the tray as well. Now, everything in the tray needs a healthy coating of CLP. Make sure to give all parts a healthy soaking. Let that sit to the side as you spray CLP down both ends of the bore. You want to let that sit for 10 minutes or so to let the CLP do its job. Time to clean the bores. Send a bore cleaning kit of the appropriate gauge down the breech end of the bore. You'll be amazed at the gunk that comes out. You can use a rod and brush, but we find our bore cleaning kits do a much better and quicker job of cleaning your gun's bore. And of course, repeat the process for the other bore. We're going to take out the choke tubes as well. Use a choke tube tool to loosen them, and then you can use your fingers to twist it the rest of the way out. Hit those with some CLP as well. Also, we'll get the extractor channels with some CLP while we're at it. Then spray down the breech face to get the carbon breaking down in there. Grab a nylon brush and get to work on the breech end. Pay attention to where the extractors sit. Get in there and break everything loose. Work through all the parts of the breech. Loosen up any carbon and debris you see in there. There's a lot of little areas to hit, so take your time and get the brush in there and give it a good scrubbing. Take some long stem cotton swabs and get all the hard to reach areas throughout the gun. This is a good way to clean up any of the carbon or debris that the brushing dislodged earlier. Now take a bronze phosphorus brush, or nylon if that's what you have, and scrub all the parts in the tray. Get in there and make sure every surface is scrubbed. You don't want any gunk left in there that can foul up the extractors. Get the threads of the choke tubes as well. You want to grab your gun cleaning cloth and wipe down the choke tubes. Pay special attention to the threading. Place a little firearm grease on the threads of the choke tubes and use a cotton swab to disperse it throughout the threads. This will help them from becoming stuck the next time you go to remove them. Screw them back in by hand and then use your choke tube wrench for the final seating. Give the channel the extractors sit in a squirt of CLP to properly lubricate them. Use a rugged cloth and wipe down all the small parts in your tray. Set those on your gun mat for easy reassembly. Now you can reassemble the extractors in the reverse of how you took them apart. They should slide in smoothly to their channel. If not, double check the channel and the extractors that they are properly clean. In fear of sounding like a broken record, you are dealing with a double barrel, so repeat this for the second extractor as well. Now for the simple reassembly. A little CLP for the moving parts. Take the barrel and snap it into place on the receiver. Now, take the forearm and snap that into place as well. And now, a 
final wipe down. And there you have it, a properly cleaned and lubricated over under shotgun. Sage and Breaker, crafted at the highest caliber.